Hey guys, and welcome back to Iron Man, the series where Iron Man is a globalist construction put into Wait, that, that's really a playing a fake good. Iron Man. He's not a real Iron Man. Uh, in other words, it's basically a main account, but everything in the Boss Raids or Slayer collection log is off limits until I've earned it myself. And while we may be on a journey to get some best in slot PVM items and complete the Inferno, he's standing on the graves of Iron Man everywhere. Sometimes things go a bit sideways, and that's life, and that's also RuneScape. So welcome to my sideways journey. Okay, so there's a diary in RuneScape called the Mauritania Elite Diary, and you can do these tasks to get certain rewards in the game. Now, there is one task on this specific diary where you must catch a shark with your bare hands, and in order to do this, you need 96 fishing. Now, for those of you who don't understand how much fishing that is. Let's just say it's about as hard to catch a shark with your bare hands in RuneScape as it is in real life. So this was my journey to do just that. Now I'm going to take you back a bit and we're going to go on a journey together full of adventure and discovery and self-loathing and other complex emotions. <laughs> so anyways, this is the Iron Man video where I do every fishing method in RuneScape so you don't have to. Hey, okay, yo guys, hey, I wanted your opinion on something really quick. The beard? Looking a little, looking a little unruly. Looking a little messy. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm gonna fix it up real quick. And boom, baby, we're looking, we're looking trimmed. It looks good. Okay, let me present to you the Beard Hedger Pro Kit by Manscaped. Yo, that's, that looks good. Now, when you're going to do a Slayer task in RuneScape, what's the first thing that you do? You go to the bank. You get a rune pouch. You get a seed box. You get an herb sack. You get your construction cape for teleports. You bring best in slot gear, a bunch of food, maybe a cannon and some cannonballs. The point being, you need the tools for the job. And the Beard Hedger Pro Kit has literally everything you could ever need. So here we go. The Beard Hedger Trimmer has a titanium coated T-blade, an adjustable guard with 20 different length settings, you just flick it on. Ooh. <laughs> it's waterproof, cordless, and rechargeable. If the beard hedger doesn't get everything, the kit comes with some beard scissors. They've got a shampoo for the shower, a conditioner when you're done with that, a beard balm to help you style, a comb to help you trim it, and a beard brush to make sure it looks all nice and good. I actually use this product and I actually like it. It's the same for anything that I sponsor on this channel. Now I have a code just for you guys. If you go to manscaped.com and use the code RAIN, it's 20% off at checkout plus free international shipping. Again, that's code RAIN at checkout. There's a link in the description. I really like this product. I'm happy with it. And I think it looked pretty good. I think it did a good job. Uh, anyways, thanks again to Manscaped for sponsoring this video and uh, back to more RuneScape. Hello everybody, my name is Nine Rain, and I am on a boat and I have 84 fishing. Now the goal for today is to get my angler outfit. And yes, it should be very surprising to you that I have 84 fishing, but I do not have this outfit. We're here at Fishing Trawler, which is maybe my least favorite activity in the entire game, where we will be fighting off a kraken and filling these little holes in the side of a boat in hopes of collecting all the pieces of the angler outfit, which will boost our experience rates if we wear it while we're fishing. And this is the fishing episode, so it only makes sense that that's the first thing that we do. I'm being chased by a clown. I think this is how it ends for me. Come, let us go out to sea. We shall catch what... Huh? Wait, what's that? Okay. Uh, anyways, <clears throat> we shall go out to sea and we shall catch ourselves some mighty fishes. And the first catch. Please give me the angler outfit. No. Um, okay, well, we got some sea turtles. Ah, whatever. We go again. Oh no, the water is filling up the, the cabin. Whatever shall we do? Um, good thing I already have 55 contribution points, which basically just means that I can stand here and not do anything. And the boat's not gonna crash, and they're not gonna kick me off the ship. And at the end of it all, we're gonna get the shittiest catch of fish that you've ever seen in your entire life. Because fishing trawler is bullshit, and I want to go home. No way. No way. We got the boots. We already got the boots. We've done like three and we got the boots already. Yo, the, I, I'm spoon fed. Yes, please. Yes, game. Please. I look incredible. Look at these little, little green little cloggies. Okay, sick. Well, I'm feeling motivated. Let's go again. Okay, the back to back, please. Give me the... No way! There's no way! Yes, dude, we fucking- I can't believe we're getting spoon-fed on this one! Yes! I love you, Jagex. I love you. This is a good game. I love RuneScape. I hate RuneScape. My shoes are wet. I'm getting chilly. This boat ride is lasting far too long. Why did I come here? I don't know. I, I seem to have lost all track of time. Well, I'm gonna ride this tiny boat back to the, uh, back to the port, and we're gonna get another piece, and then I get to leave. All right, gamers. Certainly. This is it. The back-to-back-to- -back Oh my god. There is simply no way. I'm not- No. Dude! Why am I so sp- 
spoon-fed all the most bullshit stuff in the game. Dude, wait, we got the angler top. And guys, the stupid thing about this is I already have the hat from like three years ago stored in my player-owned house because at some point I did fishing trawler for like, I don't know, an hour or two and only got the hat and was so fed up with it that I never touched it again for years. <laughs> I can't believe we're done with this grind. Yes, holy shit. So we'd gotten our angler outfit, but I wanted to upgrade it to the spirit angler outfit, which I don't know if it's better, but it looks way cooler. And the next thing that I wanted to do anyways was Tempo Ross, which is where you get the spirit flakes to get the outfit. So I teleported to this palace in the desert, climbed through a window, ran over to a little boat, and began my journey at Tempo Ross. So we've got nine KC. I honestly don't even remember when we did that, but we'll grab some buckets and some rope and some hammers, and I guess figure out how to kill this boss because couldn't be bothered to look up a guide. So I started fishing and cooking and doing all the things you need to do to kill Tempo Ross. Okay, I've just racked up 100 winter, uh, winter toad? Fuck, I knew I was gonna... Shit, the first fucking time I say it this entire episode. <clears throat> the first 100 fisher toad points. Is this, is this working? No, what? We got pages and a casket immediately and spirit flakes. What the fuck? Am I getting was that? Did I just get really spooned? Yo, cool. You have 90 more rewards in the pool. Okay, well, we'll, we'll just be chilling here getting free shit. Planks and sharks. Uh, I think 100 reward points is a quarter of the way to either of the uniques you can get from this. I don't even know if that's useful on my account, to be honest. I just sell those on the GE, but it does make a nice, pretty little sound when I get them. You're kidding me. I got a fish barrel. Wait, 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 what, what is that? Guys, I got the fish barrel. Yo, I think I think I just got spooned. I don't know how many spear flakes you're supposed to get doing this, but I feel like I got a lot, so that's cool. We're not even halfway through our points. Give me give me the tackle box. Give me the tackle box. I don't even know what it does. Is that even an item? Am I saying the right thing? Tackle box. Yeah, no idea what it does. I guess I'll check when I get it. Okay, 50 left, we're halfway there. The tome, give me the tome and the pet. Okay, the final pull is the pet. It's not the pet. That's fine. We got the barrel. I'm spooned, I think. Uh, and we got a good amount of soaked pages. What do these do? What's in a casket? Rune chain body. Three dragon stones. Ruby rings. What the fuck are these rewards? That's really weird. Okay, well, we got 550k. Most of that's in planks. And then I guess swordfish and sharks. Mana rays are okay. And then we got a thousand spirit flakes. I already had some spirit flakes in my bank. I'm doing I'm doing the headband. I'm doing the head. I'm do Boom. Is that how you do it? Nothing interesting happens. How do... There, I'm pretty sure I talked to someone. Is this the guy? Trade. Ishmael. Wait, Ishmael? A retired sailor? Is this Ahab? I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be Captain Ahab because he's got a peg leg. And Ishmael is here. Oh my god, who is that? Who is that harpooner? Queequeg? <laughs> okay, apparently you talked to this lady. Hello, ma'am. Spirit angler. Give. Proceed. Yes! Oh, I look so fucking, uh, good. Well, I like that. Actually, that's a huge upgrade. I look like a badass now. Okay. All you people look like shit compared to me. This is so good. What, what's our KC? Only 33. And we've already got a shit ton of items. I'm feeling good. Okay, I'm gonna go get another like 100 reward points, maybe more. And then we'll get more of the pieces. And I'll get the big harpoon fish and tiny tempor. It'll be easy. And then we'll go on to barbarian fishing or something. <clears throat> Yo, I did it. 85 fishing. Okay, cool. We are on our way to getting a higher level than we had before. <laughs> Woohoo. Okay, I'm fucking good at the game. We have now gotten 211 reward points, 80 KC. We're well on our way to 86 fishing. Yeah, 86. So I'm gonna go ahead and come over here and fish from this reward pool. Uh, I'm gonna get the pet, I'm gonna get the tackle box, and then we'll go on to the next thing, okay? No fucking way. I told you. I told you I'm the best fucking person to ever do it. What What do you even do? What are you doing here? I'm a god. I'm so good at this game. Literally tell me that anyone can do it like me and you're lying. We got the, We got it. We got the fucking tackle box. Hell yeah. I think I'm pretty spoon fed. If I'm being honest. Pa uh -huh. There's a pile of bricks over here. Examine pile of bricks. Not the most inspired architectural design. Okay, well. What else is in this scene? Examine a reward pool, uh, pool. The water may have something nice for you. Ooh, like a sexy mermaid. Babe, a fairy. It's not fairy big, but it'll do the job. These people are fucking brilliant. Look. I thought I was... Soaked pages, give me. How? Take them. Fuck. There's more shit. Planks. 
Planks, give, we take, I fuck, I didn't make any money. Fuck that. Re reward pool. A hundred more. I'm only halfway. Look at all my spirit play. I'm feeling the pet. I feel like this thing is mine. I think I've earned it. Come here, little guy. Come on, Nuno. Come on, little buddy. Get out of the pool. Show yourself. Little, little watery fiend. Little noodly guy. Little noodly arm water guy. Well, five more. Time for the pet. And now, and we're done. Okay, all right. Well, fuck me. We didn't get the pet, but we got everything else and I feel like it's still pretty lucky. Where are mine spirit flakes? Spirit flocking. We have 3,000 spirit flakes. Collections logged. Tempo Ross. Holy fucking shit. We did it. Oh, I guess the Tome of Water, but I, I don't really need that shit. That's stupid. I'm gonna get the pants and the boots. They're fucking cool looking. Let's talk about outfits. Give me your clothes. It's 1,200 per. Proceed. Continue. Proceed. Continue. Fuck. I ran out of spirit flakes. I wasn't paying attention. I thought I had more. We need 600 more. Fuck me in the ass, Jagex. My boots look horrid. Oh, God. Wait, actually. I mean, they look. this looks stupid. But it was the pants that have the cool turned down tops. Okay. I can salvage this. I can salvage this. Look. And boom. And we equip the fucking barefoot looking. That looks terrible. Nah. It looks okay. It looks okay. We keep it. I'm gonna put all this shit away. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna wear the angler boots. The little angie boots. Don't need that kind of shit in my life. It's time. Open the caskets. Boom. 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 This was fucking pointless. These are terrible. Are you kidding me? Why? Why give me a treasure chest that doesn't have fucking treasure? This is a joke. 50k, 70k, a rune medium helm. This is garbage. It's the caskets are terrible. The caskets are terrible. Okay, well, <clears throat> we're gonna take the fish barrel and go do more Temple Ross with my badass motherfucking gear. I look like a champion. Look at this. The spiked manacles for the barefoot. Oh, you can hear my bare feet slippy slapping on the deck as I run across. Okay, this is cool. I'm I'm having fun. And then once we're done with this grind, we go on to mmm, I learn how to three tick barbarian fish and then I shall really be gaming. Fuck! Seagull run! No, why am I stabbing with the back? What the fuck was that? You you attack with the wrong side of the harpoon. Nynaeve, I think she's confused about how this item works. Well, okay, back to it. Uh, hey, look, it's the fucking maiden. You can get a maiden pet? What? This person's name is also Life. Soaked Panty and I Love Cum and Booty Goop? <laughs> these are good names. I am a fan of these people. If they made YouTube series, I'd watch them for an episode or two. <gasps> No way! I just fishing. fishy, I'm a god. Uh, with a 9 XP drop on a harpoon fish? Holy shit. Gamers, brothers and sisters, do you see what I've done here today? On this forsaken island here? Through the- look at me through the vines, can you see what I'm doing? That's right, I'm gaming. Oh, fuck! Oh, okay. The sneaky fire almost got my dumb ass, but it didn't because I'm fucking better at the game than most people. So anyways, I'm gonna put these uh, cr uh, fish in a little crate over here. I'm gonna keep killing this motherfucker. Uh, but with instead of with 86, uh, 85 fishing, it's 86 because I'm fucking awesome. That is good YouTube content, by the way. That is called dramatic irony, where I'm setting up for the point where I inevitably fail later in the episode. You see, I'm a writer and a storyteller. Look at that. And I'm doing it all live. It's incredible. Really, if you think about it. Ladies and gentlemen, we've done it. We have 100 kills at Temple Ross. I have 49 permits. I'm gonna go pull those little, uh, little spirit flaky flakes out of the goddamn ocean, and then we're gonna get our thingy, and then we're gonna go on to the next thing. No fucking way. We did it. We got the big harpoon fish. We got the big fish. And we got the spirit flakes. Holy shit. My log. Tempo Ross. 427. We fucking did it. I'm so happy. I've never got any of the big fish. Fuck yes. And we have extra spirit flakes to shelve when we're done. Let's go. I'm gonna go get the final piece. We've got the... We, we, we have everything we need. Give me the boots. We did it. Spirit angler boots. Let's fucking go. Yo, they look kind of dope, huh? They make my feet huge. What the fuck? Jesus Christ. Honestly, the top looks fucking... Horrid. Oh, this looks way cooler. Yo, fuck the top. Wait, my outfit actually looks sick. I look incredible. I need a gold trimmed wooden shield. I'm going to the grand exchange. This is important. Okay, all my money. Boom. And wooden shield G. Let's fucking go. Hey, there we go. Dude, I actually look fucking awesome. This is sick. I look so good. I guess now I have to go learn how to three tick barbarian fish. Fuck. Well, uh, nothing to it but to do it. I will see you on the sweaty side, gamers. So we'd got the spirit angler outfit and a couple fishing levels. So I thought I'd take a little break to do a master clue that was in my bank. Give me the casket, Sherlock, you dumb bastard. Please. I'm tired of doing the clue. Fuck. Fallow the bard. Right, Fallow. Fallow, you're gonna, you're not gonna believe this shit. Fallow. I have 105 
rune play bodies. He's going to lose his shit when he sees this. <laughs> I bring a 105 plate body to show Fallow the bod. He's be like, dear lord, what is this stack of papers? Have you brought me a novel? I'm like, Fallow, flip through them, please. He's like, it's a rune plate body. I'm like, yes, this is a, no a bank note. You can turn this in for an entire rune play body. He's like, holy shit. Flip again, Fallow. Flip the book. He turns the page. Yet another rune play body note. <laughs> He's like, by the gods, how many are there, Fallow? There are 104. And here in my hands, I have the real rune play body. Look, his eyes light up. Thank you for the casket. And the third age. It's a mimic. That's good. I think that's good. That's good. That's good. We like those. How to fight mimic OSRS. The mimic strategies. Let's fucking go. Looks like magic. We just take our magic shit. We bring some food. We declaw him with the declaws that we have that we got in the... And then we he can die. That means we do a melee spec weapon. Okay, I'm bringing a DDS like a fucking savage. Here's my mimic. How do I go upstairs? Is it... Yes. Search. Will you fight it now? Yeah, sure. We're not going to read anything on how to do this. Cool. I just, I'm going I'm to slash it. I, I don't really know what's happening. I'm confused and a little scared. And the mimic is dead. All right, cool. What a fucking boss fight. Open the mimic now. Ah, yes. With this 210 GP, I shall shove the war blessing up my ass and drown my sorrows in the wines of Zamorak. Well... Is that worth my time? No. No, it was not. I am leaving now. Watson, this is a cool house, but your mimic thing sucks ass, and you, your dog is slobbering everywhere. So, there's that. So we left Watson's house feeling a little downtrodden and continued our journey to learn how to catch a shark with our bare hands. We got 87 fishing, doing barbarian fishing above the waterfall, but then I decided that it was about time to take this to the next level. What? What is it, gamers? What is that? What is that sound that you hear coming over yonder in the, in the, in, in the distant mountains? It is me. It is... <laughs> I'm here. It is a gamer. There is a time in every gamer's life where the game that you are playing looks you in the eye and says, fuck you. Well, gamers, today we're looking straight back at the game and we're saying fuck you too. So here's here's the deal. You know, this was gonna be a pretty chill grind. We were gonna AFK a lot of fishing. I just wanted to go to Mauritania. And before doing that, I just wanted to do my elite diaries. But then the game came along and was like, eat my ass. 96 fishing, which is an insane requirement for an insane skill. But you know what? We're gonna remain calm. And instead of bowing down, to the fucking grind. We are gonna make the grind our bitch. So here you go, gamers. We've decided we're gonna try way too hard at this stupid game and we're gonna overdo it. So here's to overdoing it in RuneScape. All right, guys, first of all, if you wanna kick ass at fishing, you've gotta have the most kick ass outfit, which I already have. Spirit Angler outfit with a dragon harpoon. I know some of you are thinking, you could get the, you could get the barbarian pearl rod. He was saving it. Just shut up. I don't want the barbarian pearl rod. That's for idiots and nerds. <laughs> What? So, look, I'm gonna teach you some insane tech right here. So what you probably didn't know about fishing is that it is a five tick cycle. When you click on the fishing spot, you go whoosh, and you stick your rod in the fucking water. You have a chance once every five ticks to catch a fish. But Nine Rain, I don't want to fish once every five ticks. I want to fish faster. I want to catch all the fish. I want to I want to catch them now. Well, let me just show you a little thing right here. If you have a guam leaf and a swamp tar and a pestle and mortar, and you use the guam leaf on the swamp tar, you will start to create a guam tar or 15 guam tar. Holy shit. Now, we don't actually want guam tar. It's useless shit. What we do want is an action that is three ticks long that will interrupt the cycle of the previous action, such as fishing. So here's how it works. So what we're gonna do is while we're fishing, we're gonna take this guam leaf and we're gonna take this swamp tar and we're gonna smash them together in a, in a fucking bowl. Every three ticks, we're creating a guam tar and then we're clicking back on the fishing spot. And boom, we're catching fish like you've never seen before. And then in between those ticks, while we're creating the Guam Tar, we're gonna fucking drop the other fish in our inventory. Look at this. What's that, Nine Rain? You're three tick fishing? Oh my god, but Nine Rain, I thought you were shit at the game. Well, a random YouTube comic guy, you're shit at the game. And I'm fucking awesome. And I'm three tick barbarian fishing. And this is really easy. You basically just click on the leaf and then the poopy pile every time that the rod hits the water, like that. And then, and then you get 
more XP than if you didn't do this. Anyways, here here we are. We're three tick fishing. I don't really know why, but I, I feel like I've been playing this game long enough that I decided it was about time. I learned a little bit about the game that I didn't know before. Oh, guys, check this out. I'm, I'm going to... This is going to be so fucking sick. I'm going to one tick Guam Leaf on the Swamp Tart into a four-way dropping of the fish and then spec. Check this shit out. Do you see that shit? And then we caught the fish and we got the spec and we didn't even miss a tip. Oh my God. I'm so fucking good at this game. Anyways, I, I bet you didn't know you could be good at fishing in RuneScape, but you can be. And I am. And that's not all gamers. You want to know what else is fucking awesome? I have 88 motherfucking fishing. Look at that. 4.6 million experience. And you're like, nine right? How long have you been fishing? How long, how long have you been doing this? Don't ask stupid questions. You don't want to know the answer to. We've been here for a long time. I'm really good at three tick fishing now. And anyways, that's not all that I have to show you guys. If you thought that three tick barbarian fishing was going to be the peak of this video, by the gods, do I have something to show you? Because we're not only going to be three tick barbarian fishing with Guamtar, we're going to be three tick barbarian fishing while cutting up and filleting fish, shoving it in our mouth, boofing the scales and getting experience like you wouldn't believe. We're going to be pulling fucking fish out of pools of lava. We're going to be throwing eagles as hard as we can so that they hit the water in such a way that... The the fish appear in our inventory. I don't, you know, we're just literally going to be doing everything fishing related in this video. Why? Because the game told me I had to fish to do the thing that I wanted to do. And I am the master of my destiny game, not you. So we're, we're just, look at this animation, by the way. Holy shit. Do you think the game is in charge of me? I am in charge of the game. Me, game, me. Okay, gamers, there's one more fishing technique that I wanted to show you. It's called three tick cut eat fishing. You basically, you're like three tick fishing and then every time you get a fish, you cut it and use that animation to cancel and then you eat the food when you do it and then like, <laughs> I would explain it to you, but it's so complicated that there's not even tutorials for it on YouTube. Uh, so I guess what I'm trying to say is I will be attempting the cut eat fishing technique for a while. The best part about this method is it gives you, oh, maybe 15,000 cooking experience per hour. And on top of that, you get to feel like you're better than everyone else who plays the game or worse, depending on really like how you feel about that sort of thing. We're 4.6 thousand experience away from 90. And then it's just one more level before we can go to Mauritania and I could like continue playing the game. But we've got a lot more more fishing methods to go through that I really want to try out. Anyways, I'm, I'm having a decent time. Never mind. Never mind. I lied. That method. Okay. You know what? Maybe, maybe we come back to it. Probably not. The catch a fish three tick, cut it into little thingies method. Not even that good of XP rates, if I'm being completely honest. So what we're going to do now, we're going to run over through the Kebos lowlands to this little rowboat over here, and we're going to go to Mulch Island. And we're going to try another fishing method that is maybe infamously like tedious and click intensive. Uh, we're going to try aerial fishing, which in theory sounds cool. You basically get like a fucking falcon or a hawk to go catch fish for you. And you know, that sounds kind of cool. I've never done this before, but all I know is that everyone who has done it uh, gets really sick of it really fast. Oh my God, that's a big bird. That is a big bird. Occupied cormorant perch. Could I have a go with your bird? Oh, and, and there it is. We got a little bird. Okay. Guys, I don't know what is happening. Why are we using some king worms sometimes and not other king worms other times? Oh my God, look at all the green. Go, go. Dude, these mottled eels are worth so much more. We, so we just cut everything up into little flakes. We're getting some cooking experience too by doing that. You know, RuneScape is more fun if you don't look up guides. <laughs> like this feels like a magical experience. Like I have no idea what, what is actually going on here. Um, all I know is that I click and then my bird goes and he gets, he gets the thing and then eventually Eventually, I just cut them all up into little pieces. I don't really know what the fish chunks are for. Oh, our first mulch pearl. Sick. Okay, that's the currency. That's what we need to buy the good things. And I see what's happening, guys. You need some king worms, apparently, to start fishing as bait. But then as you fish, you can cut the fish up into fish chunks and then use that for bait instead of getting more king worms. I am pretty sure, yeah, I'm able to, while my cormorant is mid-air, I'm just filleting these fish up. I'm, what a badass. So aside from fishing and hunter experience, 
experience. What you can get from here is mulch pearls with which you can buy these different kinds of fishing rods that are equipable so you can hold them in your hand. You can get a fish sack, which I'm pretty sure is just a big dick move to show people that you click a lot. It's another way to get the angler outfit. I didn't know that. Uh, but the only rare drop is the golden tent. And, and that's a big fish that you can hold in your hand and slap people with. So I guess we want that. I swear to God, if I get that and not an enhanced crystal weapon seed, I'm going to throw myself in the fucking lake. We have 350,000 fishing experience until the next level and 105,000 hunter experience. So kind of nice that we'll be getting both. I know that this is a fishing episode, but nothing wrong with getting a little bit of hunter as well. Yo, this looks sick. Look at this angle. Err, scree. <laughs> Look. Err. Err. Okay, I I don't know. I guess I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. You thought area restricted and tile man accounts were fucking dope. Wait till you get the lowest pitch only Iron Man where you have to play the entire game from like first person view, like down here. That would be crazy. It would not work for a game like RuneScape, which is why it might be a good YouTube video. I'm okay, I'm gonna write that one down. <laughs> we'll come back to it, but look at the shot. I look so I look so pensive and wise. Come back to me, noble bird. Tell me, what did you what did you find? He's like, I got another fish, sir. Ma'am, ma'am, I got another fish. We've only got six mulch pearls. I don't know how long I've been doing this. Maybe 20 minutes, maybe? But I'm pretty sure like the thing that I want is like a worth how much is this? Here, let's go check. Let's see. Get uh trade. How much do <laughs> Why are you fucking kidding me? Wait, you're sh you're absolutely pulling my dick. One thousand mulch pearls for the fish sack. It's more like suck my fish sack game. There's no way, no way in hell I will ever get that item. I will never get it. I don't care. Oh my God, Jagex. Who the fuck came up with that number? Seriously, which one of you made this little activity, played it for five hours and was like uh, 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 you know what a uh, uh, hundred pearls no oh, 500 pearls a th thousand pearls for a fish sack that i'm not even sure that that does anything and even if it did anything like it better auto bank fish or something completely broken because the a thousand mulch pearls n uh, no way nope Nope, never getting that item. No way in hell would I ever do that. And I know what it sounds, it sounds like I'm setting up one of those bits to be like, you know, huh, hard cut to a thousand mulch pearls. And I'm like, I did it. I got, I got the pearl. This is not one of those times, gamers. This is 100% not one of those times. I will, I, I have no desire to get some stupid sack. Uh, we've gotten like 20,000 fishing experience and like 20,000 hunter experience. So I guess this is okay. We're getting, I don't know, maybe about a thousand experience a minute. So, oh fuck. Five and a half hours before I get 90 fishing by doing this? We'll see, gamers. We'll see. I'm not so sure that I want to put myself through that, but I got, maybe I'll put on a good YouTube video or a podcast or something. Which, speaking of, actually, I was on the Based After Dark podcast for the second time. I highly recommend going and watching both of those. I'll put the links in the description uh, for the two podcasts that I was in. So if this video makes you want to go do aerial fishing or bar fishing or some shit, and you need something to listen to while losing your sanity, clicking on little fishy squares, maybe after this video's over, you could go check those out. So I got 92 fishing by clicking on some squares or circles or both every day somebody's asking holy for shit i don't mean to cut you off but i just no. got the golden tench <laughs> all right buddy wow. I'm, just, I'm sorry i'm just afk clicking while listening to you and i just got the fucking <laughs> no way all right guys since we already got 92 hunter and we're a decent way to 89 fishing and because i got the golden tench holy shit which looks pretty damn good with this outfit, if I do say so myself. Uh, and we really have no other business here. This was really the only thing we were going for. I'm gonna go on to the next fishing method. I hesitate to say this wasn't that bad, because I just got really, really, really fucking spoon-fed on the golden tench. And I know that there's some people out there that have probably been clicking away on these stupid circles for, like, months and still don't have this. Am I a little upset that I get spoon-fed on the most bullshit, dumbass, useless items and I can't get an enhanced crystal weapon seed or anything else that I really want for the game? Maybe this is the chest that changes everything. The chest that makes my destiny come true. Here it is! Did his crystal weapon team! Open it!
No! Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a little upset about that. Little, little jaded. So we were still on a journey to catch a shark with our bare hands, which at this point I should go ahead and say the requirement is 96 fishing, but I was planning on boosting five levels using some stews. So we really only needed 91. And although 89 fishing seemed like it was close to 91, I've been playing this game for far too long. And I know better than to get optimistic about that sort of thing. No way, guys. The, the fucking, the fish whack? Look, it's a stall. Look at how funny. It's a stall, so I can look. You can whack, and then you click really far, and then your character just fucking zips around. No way. I don't know if that's ever going to be useful, but it is cool. I've just been whacked. Motherfucker. Well, since we got the tackle box at Temple Ross, I'm actually gonna store everything in here that I can. Let's see, Phil. Okay. Now this might be a mistake because I'll probably forget that all of this exists, <laughs> but uh, it is cool. It is cool to use it. Okay, trade Steve. Fishing explosive. Uh, buy 100. Okay, we've got some fishing explosives. For, for the next fishing method, we're gonna go do drift net fishing. But first, we're gonna head down to Musa Point down here. Or no, Mudskipper Point, sorry. We're gonna head down to Mudskipper Point. Uh, where I believe. So we go like he yeet. And oh, okay. All right. Okay. Well, he's fucking dead. Uh, we're going to get these flippers from a moger and the spec and the flippers. Nope, not yet. Uh, we're going to need these flippers to go scuba diving. Apparently you can get really good fishing and hunter experience. I think it's actually way better than the last method we did. And from what I've heard, a little more bearable too. We're still pretty far from 91, like upwards of maybe 800,000 experience. We've still got many, many hours of fishing left, but maybe mixing it up like this is going to make that time pass a little faster. <clears throat> Oh, uh, yep. Look what I just got. <laughs> okay. Um, well, that looks pretty fucking awesome. Uh, I don't know if it's rare, but I guess that's one for the old collection log. <laughs> fucking mud skipper on my head. Okay. Well, hopefully the flippers are soon. Whoa. Okay, sick. There they are. Flippers. Put these bad boys on. Can I wear them out on the land? It turns out I can. Okay. Well, we look great. We've got all the things that we need to go do drift net fishing, I think. So, uh, I guess I will see you guys underwater. Okay. Okay. Dig site pendant teleport, I think. Dude, we look so good. Uh, row out to sea north of the island. Okay, so I think we can just swim over to this. Pay Cedo. I want 200 Numulite. Okay, yeah, for sure. Here's 200 Numulite. Remember, we, okay, we go over to this cave over here. Navigate plant door. And apparently there's a mermaid over here. Nets, store all. Okay, we can store our drift nets with this chick over here. Yo, honestly, cool looking shot. A little fishies. Am I losing oxygen? I'm not even losing oxygen. I'm gonna come over here. We're gonna set up a, we're gonna set up a little net. Okay, looking good. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm not gonna look at a guide. We're just gonna set up the nets. Oh, we chased the fish. Can we chase multiple fish into the same net? Dude, look, uh, okay, apparently you just click on the fish and then they end up in the drift net. Get on, get. Okay, we walk here, which way will they go? Yes, straight into the net. Dude, inspect the net, 70% full. So as the net gets more and more full, I guess then we'll have to replace it. This, this seems like it might be fun. I'm pretty sure that means we can get 10 fish holes. Oh, and then it, look at that. Harvest, huh? Well, it's pretty shit. Bank all, and we set up another drift net. I think I'm just gonna keep spamming the fish. We'll see how this works. So anyways, okay, well, I guess I'll see how this method goes and I'll get back to you. Okay, so I have just used my last drift net. Once these two are gone, we're done here. I feel like I've done enough. Like I, I just wanted to give this method a try. It's very click intensive, but it's actually pretty fun. The XP per hour is pretty good. It's interesting. <gasps> Whoa. It's interesting enough that I'm having a good time. Uh, but 200 drift nets full of little fishes is, I think, good for now. I think the next on the list is maybe lava eels or, or something. We're still not even 90, and then we have to get 91 fishing. Dear God. Why did I make this a goal for the episode? Like a million fucking fishing experience or more? Like way more, right? Have I gotten millions of fishing XP? I swear to God, I've got like 2 mil fishing XP this episode. Whatever it was, it's too much. I fucked up. <laughs> this was not a reasonable amount of fishing. I don't know. Maybe for some some of you are like, I get uh, 2 million fishing XP uh, in a weekend, but not for me, gamers. Not for me. Can I teleport out of here? 
No way. Well, um, that was fun, but we're done there. And it's on to the next method. We have 81,000 fishing XP to the next level. And on top of that, I think we just got like 200,000 hunter experience. So that's pretty good. I, this wasn't going to be a hunter episode, but we've gotten a lot of hunter XP. And actually, I'm going to go do a birdhouse run. Uh, so the hunter XP is even larger. The next thing we're going to do, I'm actually really excited about. I think this is going to be awesome. It's something that I have not done since Twisted Leagues many, many years ago. Yeah, and if you guys can tell from my inventory and what I am carrying in my hands, maybe you have an idea of what we're about to do here. Where the fuck was it? Where, where, where am I supposed to go? I swear to God, where the fuck? I swear to God, there's a harpoon spot. I, I had a plan, guys. I had a plan to come two tick. I thought you could harpoon up here. Is it just lobster? Wait, I'm gonna test something. Okay, guys, I thought I had something prepared for you. Turns out I don't know what I'm talking about. So instead of me telling you what's happening, we're gonna explore the game together. And I think that's actually gonna be more fun. Okay, first of all, I don't have a lobster pot apparently. So we're gonna come over to this little shack over here and hopefully my guy Tynan. Tynan, thank you. Lobster pot, let's fucking go. I thought there was gonna be a spot on the north side of Piscarillus where I would be able to aggro these rats and two tick harpoon. Harpoon fishing spot. Okay, look, yeah, I knew it. Cage and harpoon. I'm like 90% sure I can do it. Okay, check this out. All right, if I use the special attack on a Zamorak spear, look. Boom, we aggro it, but lo and behold, we don't do any damage. Okay, and then we, boom, we get the other one. This fucking swarm is gonna... Dude, this fucking swarm! Get away from me, swarm! How do I how do make swarm go away? Wait, did they did they do this on purpose so you can't? I swear to God, Jagex. Why is this swarm? Get it out of here! I, I'm going to lose my mind. I'm actually getting fucking angry. I'm hey, away! Is there like can you put on like repellent? How? How do how? I'm not mad. You're mad. Fuck the swarm. It's still here. Okay. I, okay. I got the two rats. Praise God. Okay. We just need to off tick them. Boom. Okay. 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 We have the setup. Do you see this gamers? The rats have a four tick attack cycle and I off ticked them so that they hit every two ticks. And then I think I just keep clicking the harpoon spot. Wait, I think I have to auto retaliate. Yes. Okay. You turn. Fuck. No, I forgot. Oh, I forgot one very crucial part of this entire strategy. And it's that you need a bow in your hand with no ammunition. And this way, when we have auto retaliate on, our character will automatically turn to auto retaliate against the rat, therefore canceling the fishing animation or whatever. But unlike when I had the harpoon in my hand, I actually won't be able to kill them. No! Shit! No! Okay, I gotta re-get the rats. Okay, come here. Come here, little rat guy. Come on. Come here. Now I will off-tick them. Okay, here we are. We've got it. We've got it set up. Look, and then you just click after every squeak. Oh my god, it's working. Yes! It's working! Okay. I thought this was gonna be better, but maybe there's a reason nobody mentions this as a way to train. The setup is pretty obscure. It takes a decent amount of game knowledge to figure out what to do and how to do it. It requires getting multiple mob aggros and off-ticking them. And at the end of the day, we're getting like 40,000 experience per hour. Um, that's pretty shit. I gotta say, guys, this is fucking cool. I wish it was better XP, but it's it's really not. <laughs> so I'm gonna do this for a little longer and just play around with it and see if maybe like there was something I was doing wrong. Look at that drop micro, by the way. Do you guys see that? Holy shit. I think I'm doing this correctly and it's just a shit method, but I'm tired of fishing, to be honest. I'm gonna go play some LMS on White Wolf. I have never actually AFK'd at Lava Eels or Sacred Eels or whatever the fuck. I think it's Sacred Eels where you get Zora scales. It's like the UIM, I'm editing a video activity. So maybe we just go do some Sacred Eels and then we'll get back to three tick barbarian fishing. We'll bang out 91 fishing and then we'll get on with our lives. This was cool either way. I hope you guys enjoyed kind of watching this because I, I don't know, something about it is mesmerizing. Okay, and at long last, we're headed to Zolandra, which is fairy ring BJS for big giant snake. I think I heard that in a chemistry video like four years ago and it stuck with me, but now I will forever remember. Wh why do they look like that? Anyways, I'm pretty sure we just come over here where this guy is and we fish. Am I stupid? I'm stupid. I needed a knife. Fuck. Okay, I'll be right back. And we're back like nothing ever happened. Special attack here, fishy fishy. We've got 77,000 
experience before the next fishing level. That, that'll be level 90. And then we need one more level after that, 91. And then we can boost to 96. And then we can do the diary. I think it's Mauritania Elite. And then I can go do all the shit in Mauritania that I wanted to do weeks ago. Let's see. We just made 2K. So each fish is worth about a thousand. This is actually kind of cool. I've never made money fishing before. But we're going to end up with a bunch of Zoro scales. Do people actually do this? Or is the fishing experience just so slow? I'm going to sit here. AFK. We'll see how much experience per hour you can get with these bad boys and uh, about how much money you can make per hour. Then I'm going to get my Guam tar and shit and we're going to three tick these bad boys and see if it's like way better. Holy cow. I am not catching a damn thing. Okay, maybe this is why nobody does it. Uh, I guess we'll find out together because that's what this episode is all about. We're on a journey. Uh, fishing journey. Okay, we're almost at a full inventory and I don't even need to ride this one out for any longer. We are getting like 20,000 experience per hour, which is like fucking zero. We did make... <laughs> 24k okay all right um fucking zol onan zol anal and zol Aerith, go fuck yourselves we're never coming back here don't ever do this unless you're on a uim and you don't have any inventory slots and you can't bank so you have to get zol scales this way this is like I <laughs> we know why nobody does this holy shit Twenty thousand. nope not me not ever. I've legit tried every fucking method under the sun. And at the end of it all, I think we're just gonna go back to barbarian fishing. <laughs> as stupid as that is. But we're gonna be doing it AFK for a while. It's like 50,000 experience per hour. This grind is fucking insane. Fishing is a nightmare skill. I had no idea. I had no idea. Ayo. Hey, guys, look. 90 fishing. Holy shit. Members can now catch Chiron fish? What the fuck is a Chiron fish? And where's my character going? That means that we have 556,000 experience to go. I bet the tone of this episode started out so like fun and boisterous and jolly. And now I'm just like, I don't want to fish anymore. I don't want to do this. Honestly, the hilarious part about all of this is 92 fishing. It's only halfway to 99. How do people do this? Oh my God, guys. What? My clan just told me you can barb fish at Chambers of Zarek. And lo and fucking behold, look at this. I just checked it out on the map. Chamby Wambies, Mount Ketamortem, Sturgeon, Salmon, and Trout. Guys, you can barb fish here? It's just much closer to a bank, much closer to a teleport? There's no way. And then we run down here. Look, spoop. It's spoop. <laughs> Brother, <laughs> dude. There's no way you can barb here. How did I not know? This is cooler, actually. I actually like this a lot more. <laughs> I don't know why it's the same activity. I guess we're gonna be barb fishing here until 91. Unless I have some other cool fucking news for you guys, which maybe not. I'd like to use the fish barrel and bank the fish here. Huh. You know what, gamers? Fuck it. We're doing this. A sturgeon is worth 65. A salmon is worth 25. And a trout is worth 16. You you know what gamers we're grabbing the fish barrel boom we're gonna do the most afk way possible which means we're gonna stand here till our inventory is full we're gonna fill the fish barrel and then once it's all full we go bank i can't believe we are how many weeks into this fishing episode that was just a random fishing requirement to get a diary for mauritania and we're still learning things about fishing huh well i guess there's always something to learn in runescape and wait which speaking of there is something to to learn in runescape i blew over this just a little while ago chiron fish the fuck is a chiron fish i'm gonna tell you chiron fish it is a type of fish obtained from fishing pots within the chambers of Zarek. oh so it's actually useless okay well at least you know what a chiron fish is uh so you can proceed to never catch it okay this is not very good science but we're just gonna check how much money was one little inventory 2k you know what fine fine is that worth doing <laughs> probably not but it is less clicks than shift dropping is it worth the time to run over here and do it also probably not uh but at this point don't really fucking care here dragon impling you need 93 okay i got it i got it i got it i got it come to papa dragon impling i've never caught a dragon impling okay dragon impling here we go Holy shit, that's 630k? Ha! No way! Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, there's a bedroom over here with fucking a dress and what look like stockings and such like thrown onto the floor. And then like a little uh Sherlock hat. Yo, okay, someone's getting someone's getting down here and ha! <laughs> that's funny. Alright, Watson. I see you. Fucking ladies' clothes thrown all over this room. Fucking get it bro oh my god we're almost there brothers and sisters the hour draws near can you feel it come on 
There it is. 91 fishing. Holy shit. Members can now catch Greater Siren on Mulch Island. I don't know what that is, but it doesn't matter. Guys, we've finally done it. We got 91 fishing. Holy fucking shit. And now, at long last, we can do what we set out to do literally weeks ago. Catch a shark in Berg Durat with your bare hands. With 96 fishing, 76 strength, and an aid of the monarchy, we can boost with a plus five to bare hand catch a motherfucking shark. So I'm gonna go do that. And then we'll be done with fishing requirements forever until we max. Holy shit. Holy lord in heaven. Gamers, I just learned something and I cannot tell you how excited I am about this. We actually don't have to boost with the fucking stews. Boom, Admiral Pie, collect and eat. 96. Guys, you could just use an Admiral Pie. Dude, yes, okay. I was really dreading the grind for stews, but this is so easy. We could just go do the fucking thing. Okay, real quick, before we go complete this diary, I do also want to show you guys one thing, and that's the amount of fish we banked during this grind. The only reason I was banking them was one, because it's silly. And two, because then I didn't actually have to click as much because I could just run to the bank and press one button and deposit them all. But look, we made 288k. That's so fucking worthless. But we're going to sell it anyways. I, I doubt these even sell. All right. Well, I guess that's just worthless. But anyways, Berg teleport on the Mauritania legs three. Oh, fucking. And then we're going to run down south of Berg de Rat for uh, before us lies a veritable trove of, of sharks. A trove? Does that make any sense at all? Shark harpoon. Uh, boom. And harpoon. Please. Yes! I saw- Stick your hand in the water. Naive. Please. Catch it. Please. Just one shark. Okay, wait. I know what to do here. Swap left click to harpoon. And guys, look. No one's ever fucking done this before. I- I promise you. No! The fucking boost went away. Shit. Okay, time to- Obviously. We would- Back to the Grand Exchange. Okay. We did- we just did it! We did- we just pulled the fucking shark in the water! What's that? We did it! The elite task is done! Did you see that motherfucker? Bind my hand and get yeeted out of the water! Look at this beautiful shark! And behold, brothers and sisters, the Mauritania elite diary, the task to catch a shark with our bare hand is completed! Holy shit! Okay, now I get to actually go make the YouTube episode that I want to make where I lock myself in Mauritania for two weeks. Um, really wanted to go ahead and check that off the list before we start started this. <laughs> so that's, that's what this was all about. It was all because I wanted to do another video entirely. If you got to this point in the video, then you just watched like a 10, 20 minute video of me fishing in RuneScape. <laughs> 10 to 20 minutes. Oh god. And either you're really bored or I'm really entertaining. And if the second one's true, then I guess subscribe to my channel and tell all your friends about it. Because if I can make this video fun, I can make fucking anything fun. It's the video's over. I'm pretty tired, so I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> Holy shit. Yo, nice fish.